I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. So choose life in order that you may live, you and your descendants, by loving the Lord your God, by obeying his voice, and by holding fast to him. For this is your life and the length of your days. This is Toby Janicki with another Mitzvah Minute. When the Torah speaks of us holding fast to Hashem, this is the Hebrew word devak, which is the root of the word devekut. Devekut, clinging to God, is one of the most important mitzvot and is commanded several times throughout the Torah. While on the surface this command sounds plausible enough to carry out, there is one small problem about clinging to Hashem. In Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 24, we read that the Lord your God is a consuming fire. To the rabbis, the idea of literally clinging to the Holy One did not seem feasible. Human beings are unholy. Just seeing God means death. Approaching and laying hold of Hashem is an impossible idea. Therefore, they reason, the commandment of clinging to Hashem can only be fulfilled by clinging to a worthy representative of Hashem. Based upon this model, the commandment was reinterpreted to mean that one must cling to a sage and his disciples, and in turn it would be counted as clinging to the Almighty. For us, as believers in Yeshua, Yeshua is then that ultimate connection to Hashem, and no one attained the level of complete righteousness that He did. Therefore, from the Torah's perspective of clinging to Hashem, our intimate relationship and connection with Yeshua takes on the level of a mitzvah.